guys, what's up? It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I spent the entire morning working, but I just feel like I'm going kind of crazy. I think when you work from home, sometimes that can happen, especially because I, I live in a basement and I don't get a lot of natural light. So I forced myself to take the rest of the day off. I have a bunch of errands to run. I've been wanting to go thrifting for a while. I brought my gym bag so that I can go on a run or hit up the gym later. Super sunny, gorgeous day. So I'm gonna force myself to stay out until dinner, soak up the rays, soak some D in the words of Joseph Lincoln. Maybe I'll try to find a trail to run on later because I've just been running around my neighborhood and there's a park near me, but I want to mix it up because I'm kind of getting bored there. Yeah, we'll see how many of those things we can actually fit into the remaining hours of the day. I'm here at Goodwill. So one thing I do miss about the Bay Area, they had some dope thrift shops there. I think because everyone's so bougie there, you know, just like paying an arm and a leg to live in the Silicon Valley, so all of the thrifted items were really nice. Um, but hopefully this one's nice, so let's go in. I was just in there for like an hour. It's so warm in here. Oh my gosh, I love it, but it's a lot. I found some good stuff. I have this policy that when I buy new clothes, I have to pick things that I currently own to give away, just so that my closet doesn't expand infinitely. So when I get home, I will um, purge some things from my closet. There's a um, 24 hour fitness right across the way. I'm gonna stop in there, get in a leg day. First though, I'm gonna have this very melty chocolate chip Lara bar. They're so simple, the ingredients. Like I could definitely make these on my own, but I don't know, man, they're really good. Mmm, there's chocolate in my teeth. Also, if anyone's curious, I'm now going through an Elton John phase, so good. As much as you guys know I love my rap and hip hop, especially when I'm working out, messed up is bumping. Sometimes I get a little sad that really good, thoughtful lyrics and songwriting aren't as mainstream anymore. Like, I'm hoping that comes back around in music soon. But I brought in my gym bag my BCAs. It's the Island Fusion flavor, so I'm gonna drop a scoop of that in here. Ah, I did leg day. I did some squats, 10, 12 reps per set. I did some of those leg presses. I showed a couple videos back where you like cross your leg over. Um, and then the usual leg extension, lying hamstring curl and hip abductor. Um, I don't wanna be too, too tired out for my run later cause I have to run. Um, I'm on, I don't even know what week of C25K I'm on now. I'm running 25 minutes straight for this one and it's rough. There's a Whole Foods in this parking lot that I've never been to so I think I'm gonna duck in and see if they have the other flavors of the Beyond Sausage or the Bratwurst and the Sweet Italian because I tried the Hot Italian a couple vlogs back and it keeps selling out, the other flavors keep selling out at the Whole Foods closer to my house. So I'm gonna try my luck here and I might grab like an iced coffee because I mean it's pretty late it's like 3 p.m. now but I feel like a little bit of caffeine might help me through my run just give me some energy plus it's Friday so you know we're gonna get lit tonight and by lit I mean I'm gonna eat Taco Bell and watch TV don't go breaking my heart I won't go breaking your heart look they have seeds here too should we grow some beets some beans, eggplant, lacinato kale. I love some flowers. No dice, my friends. They did not have my Beyond sausage, which is kind of a bummer, but probably for the better because let's be real, I don't need any more fake meat in my life right now. I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, but I did grab one of these Rebel Maca cold brews. You all know I'm obsessed with these. I'm gonna drink just half of it um, so that I'm not wired all night and hopefully it gives me some energy for my run. I grabbed a bunch of seeds. I got some uh, fancy hippie gum. This is the maple flavor because my throat gets really dry and like sticks together on longer runs. Even though I'm very mindful about not breathing in through my mouth. I troubleshooted it and some people said that they use like lozenges on the run. Some people said they don't run without gum. So I'm gonna give this a try today. And then I also grabbed some of this coconut jerky. This is the ginger teriyaki flavor. I really like this stuff. It doesn't taste, it's not like the Louisville jerky, which is super convincing. This one is obviously coconut meat, but I really like the texture and the flavor. Texture, actually it looks kind of unsettling. Um, mm, my morning coffee. This and that Lara bar are all I've eaten today, and it's now four o'clock. I'm gonna go hard at dinner. I'm gonna eat so much food. I'm very proud of myself at not having purchased a thousand things that I didn't need. They had vegan donuts and vegan chocolate chip cookies there. 
I didn't know they had vegan chocolate chip cookies at Whole Foods. Have any of you tried it? What do you think of them? So I was gonna go to a park directly after this and go on my run, but it's still really hot and I did not bring sunscreen and I don't wanna burn. So I think I'm gonna go home, work a little bit in the garden. I still have to dig up some more dirt. And then when the sun starts to set, I will go run. She's got a leg of booze, a boy has food, you know I read it in a magazine. We're gonna dig some more. Go Dodgers. Just kidding, I don't care about sports. I just thought I'd look cool. I'm a charlatan. No good, two-bit poser. What does two-bit mean? Why is it an insult? So while we have some extra time, I thought I would show you what I picked up at the thrift store earlier. Lace blouse by Banana Republic. I got this for three bucks. Definitely need to find like a white camisole to put underneath it. I got this denim skirt. This is by Free People. So this was definite steal. I think I got it for four bucks. I'm always trying to be a little bit more uh, frilly and not just wear gym clothes everywhere. So this will be cute. Got some super simple linen shorts. These are originally by Old Navy. Got them for four bucks. They have a nice elastic waistband and a drawstring, which I think is cute. Really simple blue, like flowy linen shirt from Loft by Ann Taylor. Just looks super casual and breezy for when it gets warmer. I feel like you can never have too many flannel shirts. So I got this just to throw on over like a cute bralette or a tank. When it gets warmer during the summer, I can throw this on at night. And of course, when it's winter, I can wear it as an actual shirt. Got this sort of flowy peach sweater with a little pocket from H&M. It's a really sort of loose knit. You can see through it. And I just thought this would be a nice layering piece for the summer. Usually don't get active wear secondhand, but I did find this sort of like duo dry shirt by Champion. I think this is probably originally from Target. I'm really excited about this find. I got some Athleta or Athleta leggings. I love Heather Gray leggings. They make your booty look. These also have little zipper pockets on both legs, which I think is super handy. Also got a skirt. This is by Old Navy as well. It's just super flowy and the color makes me happy. And then I picked up this kind of flowy jersey material tank top. It's actually, I'm so sure it could technically be a dress on me, but I'm thinking about cutting it maybe so that it's more clearly a blouse. And I can wear it with like high-waisted skinny jeans. I really like um, tops that show off your back because I don't have a lot of boobage, you know what I mean? And the last thing I got are these little, I guess they're short alls. They're not overalls. These are from h and I've been looking for overalls for a really long time. I was very happy that these fit when I tried them on. Said I was only gonna drink half of this, but I ended up drinking all of it. <laughs> I try not to have caffeine after like 1 p.m. because then I start to go loopy and uh, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? I do when I drink too much caffeine, so maybe we'll be in for a fun night. I also had a package waiting for me when I arrived home. I got a flip belt. So I like to bring my phone with me when I go on my runs uh, so that I can listen to music or a podcast. And I've just been kind of like using the pop socket to carry it and then my hand cramps. I use an armband in the gym, but I wanted to be able to like pull it out really easily on my runs in case I wanted to like skip a song or something. So this had good ratings on Amazon. So you put it on like this, stick your phone in there. There's a little like loop for your key and then you flip it, I guess, so that nothing falls off. Doesn't seem to be sliding around. Tell you how it goes later on. Here's an update on the babies. They're so cute. Also, look at these prints I got. They're from, um, if any of you follow Poorly Drawn Lines on Instagram, I think their stuff is hilarious. I wanna feel challenged, but not too challenged, and the challenge aspect should be optional. I don't want much in life. Just sick clothes, a bunch of money, convenient restaurant options, free shipping's always nice, and like, a sense of purpose, I guess. These are both just so the story of my life. Sun is going down, so I'm gonna go on my run now, and I'll check in with you afterwards. I did it. Um, the gum definitely helped keep my throat from drying out. Also, I've been listening to this playlist. Um, that's 180 beats per minute. They say that's like a good cadence to establish when you're running. And it also helps the time go by faster because you're like trying to stay in time with the beats. So, I'm taking a shower. I'm so hungry. 
Hey guys, it is another day. I stopped vlogging that night, but I did end up getting Taco Bell for dinner. You thought I was joking about Taco Bell, but tell me, does this look like the face of a woman who would joke about Taco Bell? I got a crunchy taco, no beef, sub beans. I got it fresco, meaning they leave off the cheese. They add pico de gallo. And then I added fried potatoes. Also got a Crunchwrap Supreme, no beef, sub beans, also fresco, and I added potatoes. So very predictable. Basically the same ingredients in a different format. I had a leftover sheet of puff pastry from the night that I made the chicken pot pie. I showed that recipe a couple videos back. So I ended up cutting that puff pastry into squares and I baked it with I had a Granny Smith apple, and then I had a can of just cherry pie fill and chilling in my pantry. So I made like a, did any of you like toaster strudels when you were growing up? So I kind of made that, except there's no icing, so it wasn't as good. But um, I made like an impromptu dessert out of that. Um, yeah, that's every, well, this is not even a what I eat in a day video. Uh, it's a vlog, so, but that is everything that I eat that day. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will have another vlog up soon, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye.